Are you guys in a relationship? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh. Okay. We're, we're you talking. say yeah, you we're say talking. no. We are we are not in a relationship. No. Okay, I guess we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Miscommunication here. No, perfect communication. He's actually just an acquaintance. I like I like only recently like met him like two weeks ago. It was love at first sight, but she's shy. She needs time to like build into it. That's what I think. Oh, no, I don't. Why does the friend zone exist? <laughs> For losers who are meant to be there. Hey, would you say he's in the friend zone? Yes, I do have a boyfriend. Oh, you do have a yes, boyfriend. Yes, not him. Just because there's a goalie doesn't mean he can't score, right? <laughs> Now, I'm going to be super honest with you guys. I don't care whether my partner has male or female friends. Um, I grew up with a lot of male dominant figures in my life. So I have a lot of guy best friends and female friends. I don't think that it's good to restrict your partner from who they can and can't talk to. I just feel as though if somebody isn't your cup of tea and their lifestyle doesn't fit yours to see your way out of the equation. It's just easier and better that way instead of nitpicking on who they talk to, what they do. It just becomes controlling and chaotic. The reason why I'm saying this is because I'm the type of person where I want somebody to have a strong mindset like I do. I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I am very self-aware and hyper-vigilant. And what I mean by that is if a guy was to be around me and he's sitting here thinking I'm the love of his life, meanwhile I have a boyfriend, don't you think it's smart for me to cut that off because I respect my relationship? The fact that this girl's giggling, knows this stuff, and then is getting mad at him saying that, you're entertaining that. You're keeping this man around you. Why? Because you probably like the tension. You probably like somebody being a puppy dog over you when you have a full-blown man. And I know a lot of women and men, they're young, so they go through these things when they're younger and they don't learn until they're older. But this is why a lot of you guys are in the situations you're in. And now I'm not going to fully sit here and blame the girl either because the guy, on the other hand, y'all let yourselves be friend-zoned. I don't care what anybody says. If you cannot read people and pay attention, like I was saying, if you can't like pay attention to somebody's actions and see their body language around you, you probably don't need to be dating or assuming somebody's in love with you. The craziest thing to me on earth, and I'm sorry if this comes off judgy, but I never understand how some guys can be in love with a girl that never showed them that type of interest. It's like you misconstrue niceness for somebody actually loving you or liking you, and that's wild to me. She literally has a boyfriend and you think that she still wants you now who knows she might be doing stuff off camera so like i said i could be wrong but with that being said i think a lot of men need to pay attention to those type of girls she's not giving you no play she's not you know posting you she's not talking about you she's not interested she's probably just using you and a lot of girls like some men around just because it gives them attention just because it's constant validation doesn't mean she necessarily wants to be with you she's using you because you're the back burner type of dude and you're always going to be there so be mindful of that and also the one thing that i feel like a lot of men don't understand is if this girl is talking to you about her crushes if there's girls talking to you about guys she likes you're not the one and i don't mean that to say you're not worthy you're not the prize nothing like that it's just some people don't view you how you view them and that's okay it's life move on don't allow yourself to get friend zoned don't allow yourself to sit there and pray she'll come and see the person that you are it doesn't work that way i don't understand why people would even want that if i like somebody and they didn't like me i don't have to be rude about it i don't have to degrade you or be mean you know what i actually like you i found value in you but you don't like me that's okay i'm gonna take the mature route and bounce why do I want to be your friend? I have a crush on you. That's weird. So the fact that y'all can still be friends with somebody who you have a crush on, that doesn't make any sense. Why do you want to... Why are you letting yourself settle for less? That's crazy to me. Let me just sit here, watch this person date all these guys. Let her talk to all these guys. Show me these guys when I deep down love this girl. I have a crush on her. That's crazy to me. This is not a movie, y'all. There are some cases where y'all end up together, but the chances of that, why even wait for that? Life is too short. I'm sorry. I'll never. But like I said, don't allow yourself to get friend zoned. Ladies, have more of a backbone. If you have a relationship, it's your job to protect your relationship. You shouldn't be having guy best friends that you mess around with. Now, I understand if you have friends prior to being in a relationship, that's different. But have boundaries, dude, because y'all know damn well if a guy was doing this to you, you guys would be very upset. A lot of you guys are ruining the male and female dynamic of relationships. That's why everybody thinks that when they see a, a guy friend and a girlfriend, they're automatically messing around because of people like this. And in all reality, there are some people who are just actually genuinely friends and have maybe been friends since they were kids. Just stop. Y'all are ruining it, man.